Welcome to Speaker's Idol 2016. I believe that I have a big voice that can change this world. I want to win, but it's okay if I don't, and I'm really excited about it. There were over like 200 of you that actually had to audition yeah. just to be the final six yeah. in each category tonight. Yeah. Six from grade nine to 12, six from yeah. grade six to eight. So congratulations on getting this far. Why is it so hard for us to forgive others and treat them with love and acceptance and not with hate? We must know our history so that we can learn from Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani child activist, shot by a Taliban gunman. And why? Because she took a stand and fought for girls' education. So many people have been ripped away from their lives and families for the crime of simply being who they are. We can keep our history fresh in our heads, so when we see them in their everyday life, we can stop them while they're small. Whenever we think of Syria now, we think of war and we think of refugees. Canada's Aboriginal population is presently in a state of emergency with domestic abuse, incarceration, and premature death rates at an all-time high. The thought of babies being gassed by a government filled my head that night as I wept and I wondered how the Germans could allow for the torture and murder of six million Jews. The history of man is the history of crimes, and history can repeat. When people are poor, we educate them. When a generation of youngsters is getting ready to shoulder the world's responsibility, we educate them. It seems that we have forgotten how to pick and choose our battles, and how to appropriately deal with them in a sensible manner. We are the final generation to have actual Holocaust survivors that are able to share their real-life experiences. Of course, you're a teacher, you know, you, you got your thumb on the pulse of what's going on, but did you expect the students to be this amazing? Um, I didn't. Uh, I've, I've never come to an event like this, and uh, I'm going to be coming back every year. Just to kind of be in this atmosphere where you're kind of a part of that next generation that's kind of adding to the world, it just felt incredible. It's uh, absolutely amazing to hear kids that are in grade 6 to grade 8, grade 9 to 12, talking like 45, 50 year old university professors about problems around the world and what we need to make it better and that's education, information and making sure history doesn't repeat itself.